Joining me on the podcast today is Amber Wortman from the United Way. Good morning, Amber. Good morning. How are you, Randy? I am doing just wonderful. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. That's good. Yeah. You got all that nice, beautiful, cold weather out there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, you know, the streets are better, but yeah. I, I had to try to park a couple different <laughs> places here today, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so United Way, I, you're a very busy person. United Way, in fact, the United Way is covers a lot, you know. It, I, we do. I, I think, well, first of all, if someone <laughs> doesn't know what the United Way is all about, let's just start off there. Yeah, um, sure. So, um, at United Way, we uh, secure funds and resources to benefit the community as a whole. Um, we have a very collaborative approach, so we have an annual allocations um, that we do to community par- for mm-hmm. community partners. Um, anybody who is a nonprofit, and in some cases even um, some governmental organizations can apply to us for funding. And uh, apl- if they apply, we have an, an application and then a rubric that we kind of score their, their program as long as it's in line with our what we call mm-hmm. our bold goals, <laughs> which I can go over here shortly. And then uh, annually we give um, hundreds of thousands of dollars back into each of our communities uh, on an annual basis. And that's from the generosity of lots of different businesses, uh, individuals, um, industries, even nonprofits. Um, kind of that concept of the more people that give into the community chest. It used to be mm-hmm. called community chest, mm-hmm. right? So the idea is if we all raise one big pot of money then we can hopefully give it back out to all the different organizations in need. And you cover not only Crawford County, Marion County, and Wyandotte County, We correct? do, yeah. We are now a tri-county organization, um, which is uh, has been really interesting. It's been a journey for us. I first started with uh, Crawford County specifically. It's been nine years now. Oh, wow, it's been that long already. Since, <laughs> yeah, since we, um, since we became United yeah. Way of Crawford County. Yeah. And then eventually, a few years after that, we merged in with um, Marion and Wyandotte. Mm-hmm. It's been really beneficial from a finance side, so we can, we're can we able to save a lot of money on the, the administrative and finance side of things. And with those savings, we can put more money back into each county. Now, to be clear, we still have an advisory council in each county that kind of feeds into our governing board over the whole organization. And then we uh, still track money by county. So at any time, if any donor wanted to say, hey, how much has Crawford raised? We can just go in our database and say, and you know, run a report for Crawford, and, and here's how much of that, that whole pot of money goes, goes to Crawford. So everything's entered in our office. Nothing goes outside of our, our business. And um, again, have our own board of local representatives, and our board is, is really awesome and strong right now, and, and I appreciate all they do to advocate too. All right, so what's happening this month? There's a lot of things going on, right? Yeah, so um, we try to always highlight what our partners are doing. So this month, um, we're actually wearing orange or a hint, a shade of orange today um, because February 8th is the kickoff to teen, let me get this right, Mm -hmm. uh, Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. Uh, So Turning Point is our domestic violence shelter. They also do outreach and preventative programming for teens. Um, we do have coverage, a, a social worker who's employed by Turning Point um, in each of our counties, Crawford, Wanda, and Marion, and they'll go into schools and uh, clubs and organizations and, you know, um, just try to, to teach the teens about healthy, loving relationships and signs to watch for and, and how they can be of assistance to their peers. And so, um, kind of in a, in a compliment to that, there's a lot of, especially post-pandemic and coming out of that now, we know that the numbers for mental health are just unfortunately very high. Um, suicide rates and things like that, we're really monitoring data, especially in our communities on. So we work with uh, Adam H. Ford and a lot of other places like that, and mental health and, <clears throat> and the counseling centers to, to also fund some programs that complement just mental, mental health in general, and especially for our kiddos. So it's yeah. important. <laughs> it is, and like that it's, it's it seems like after the pandemic, stuff has just gotten mm-hmm. really bad, I think, has it? Oh, it's just, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we've all been affected in one way or another. But then you think about our, our children and teenagers who, you know, are just still just still 
learning and growing right. and not even fully adults yet. I mean, they're still developing. And then they just had this last two years of total changes for them on top of changes they're already facing sure, in, their, in sure. their adolescence. So um, so we really want to be mindful of that. It's definitely part of our bold goals that have been kind of brought to the surface because of, of the pandemic and what has happened. So we want to be supportive of our partners for those things too. Do you have any events coming up here in the near future? You know, event, everybody's been asking me when is bingo again, you know, because we are <laughs> famous be the, uh, for our- the first bingo? Yeah, our yeah. first bingo, yep, yeah. we're, uh, we're pros at that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, we had an event in November mm -hmm. over at the new Everhart Gathering Place, which was really nice. It was our first kind of tri-county event. We invited people from all of our, our communities and donors and um, just had a night of laughs. You know, we had a comedian and a, a hypnotist yeah. and magician, which was really fun. Um, and we just thought, you know, with everything we've been through, we just want something laid back where people can just eat and relax and... Left, sure, right, you know right. so that's what we did in November and we're just still really planning the calendar for this year so we don't have any big official announcements mm -hmm. yet uh, but be watching sure a big shout out to my team I have an amazing staff um, we actually uh, a lot of people don't know we so for three counties we have three full-time staff and then three part-time staff mm -hmm. so the equivalent of one and a half people for each county I, I like to make that clear because you know, you see, oh, they have, you know, six staff. Well, they're not all full-time. <laughs> <Right, laughs> but again, yeah. we want to be mindful right. of the administration dollars. Um, but they're all amazing and rock stars. And I say that because um, if you do want to know what's going on at our United Way, our website is always up to date because we have the amazing Laura Weir, who's mm -hmm. our communications manager. And she keeps it um, really just just really organized well. Anything you want to find is on that website. It's United Way NCO. That's for North Central Ohio. So United Way NCO dot org. Mm -hmm. And we also have the um, United Way of North Central Ohio uh, social media pages. So we're on Facebook, um, LinkedIn. We're on um, Instagram. So all the the regular channels. So whatever uh, <laughs> way you get your right. information. And just go out there and follow us or check out our website and you can always find more information not only about events but about our our partners mm -hmm. about our campaign we have a really neat campaign toolkit that a lot of our companies and businesses use when they're running a campaign which we encourage everyone to do uh the, the more money we can put in that in that community chest uh the more we can give give out to those in need and and the the partners who are providing quality programs to mm -hmm. our individuals and families who need it most. So the great thing about when you give to United Way, it all stays local. The money stays local. It does, and that's another thing that we, <laughs> you know, I've, I've been mm -hmm. doing this going on yeah. ten years, and we still talk <laughs> about how you know we are not controlled by United Way of mm -hmm. America or United Way Worldwide. Again, we have our own board, we have our own EIN number, which is just our you know, 501c3 number, so we right. are our own local organization. Um, we do pay a small fee to United Way of America, but that's just to use the, the trademark and the logos. That's you know, right. it's really it's just a marketing fee. It's not very, it's a very, it's but a very small it's very fee, minimal, yeah. um, and, and everything else really falls on our governing board to decide, because we, you know, um, I think the larger organization knows very well and understands that every community is different. Mm -hmm. And we all need different things, and so um, the way the network was built to begin with uh, really recognized that hey, we still have to have local leadership and and have them have their own power. What are some of the agencies in Crawford County? Yeah, let, do you mind if I just read them? I don't no, want to miss go ahead. anybody. That's fine. So. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know what? I bet I probably forgot the right the right. Um, <laughs> The right paper here. Oh man! Well. Uh, however, I can find it. Give me a minute. You sure, no problem. See, I should have had that one ready. That's all right. This is what Randy does. Puts me on the spot. <laughs> now, um, first, I should say we have successful children, mm -hmm. healthy families, and self-sufficient residents. Those are our three bold goals. Okay. And those are so anybody who applies to us, they just need to have. Those are very broad areas, but mm -hmm. anybody who applies for funding in any of our counties needs to um, implement a program that has to do with one of those three areas. So that's kind of how we narrow I'm down sure. the focus. And so if I'm thinking about our partners and programs here in Crawford, 
this is going to really test me because here, here I'm going to try to just rattle. It's off the top off. of your head, right? Okay. Yeah. So okay. everybody can go on our website <laughs> later and see if I got these right. <laughs> see, if you, see if you missed anybody, right? Yeah. Um, so one of our most popular ones here in Crawford County is the Music Movement and More. Mm-hmm. Miss um, Barbara Scott for, mm-hmm. through the Cyrus Public Library is. Uh, known to all of our children throughout the county <laughs> as a rock star. Literally, they <laughs> applaud when she comes in, and uh-huh. they know it's time for music and movement class. And um, she's been doing that for years now, and it's just really great because the, from a United Way perspective, the other amazing thing about music, movement, and more through the library is that it doesn't know any income mm-hmm. guidelines. I mean, it's not. It's for everyone. Mm-hmm. So it, it's not... It's not something where a lot of our programs are for quote unquote people in need or individuals who might be falling through the cracks. But for this particular program, it's just she goes out to the schools, she has classes at the library, and it's open to everyone regardless of you know their economic status or um, the age. I think it's it can even be zero to five. She has different age ranges, so it's just open to everyone. So that's another nice reminder is when you donate to United Way, it's not just for a certain group of, mm-hmm. of people who may be needy, quote unquote, right. but it's for everyone. Um, we even talk about that. Another partner of ours is Red Cross. Mm-hmm. Anybody can have a house fire. Sure, it, right. it, You know, anybody can, have, can be... Um, displaced because of a natural disaster around here it might be a flood or something like that and so um, Red Cross shows up no matter mm-hmm. no matter what or who it is you know and so they're a great partner they've been partners with us for a while um, Carl is over at the uh, at the community center in Crestline which we're proud of too we've been a partner of that for a couple years now um, yeah so Red Cross is another one um, I'm trying to think of some other children child care we have Sarah Beagle mm-hmm. in Galleon it's a great child care center we always need more uh, quality child care in our area so we're supportive of them Crawford Works is yeah. workforce development I know you know a lot of these sure. people already I so do. it's like yeah. you know Heather and, and her team at Crawford Works is amazing um, they're always looking for anybody who wants to go through the classes um, just kind of a getting ahead style class and, and teaching interviews and, and different techniques to to just better better yourself and learn and grow in your strengths, which is always needed. Um, watch now, I'm gonna I'm gonna get. <laughs> so we already mentioned Turning Point. Right. Turning Point has right. social workers here in Crawford. Um, the homeless shelter also has a social worker. They do uh, what they call street outreach now. So if there are um, potential homeless issues here in Crawford County, you can call the um, homeless shelter which is based out of Marion, but they do serve our county. Mm -hmm. And so they have a social worker that will actually come here to the county and assess the situation and help the potential um, homeless person find resources. So that's great. Um, Another person that works with them really closely um, is Tammy over at Community Action. Mm -hmm. They're out of Galleon, but they serve the whole county and we always support them through their backpack program, which is is really good for the kids. Um, Let's see, who did I forget? I know there are lots more. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. We do a lot of small yeah. grants, too. Right. Um, the uh, the Jericho House, we funded some things for them recently. Um, we are a sponsor of the Desires Area YMCA. Um, that was a small grant this year, but they got a lot of great things going on. So, um, as you can see, I mean, uh, the, the Council <laughs> right. on Aging, our, our mutual bud, Cassie, over there, sure. we... You know, they do home-delivered meals, outreach for seniors throughout the whole county, and that's very important. Um, it's a nice supplement to, you know, uh, levy dollars are great, but they don't, uh, sometimes don't capture everyone who might fall through the cracks. So we do some supplemental funding for making sure that those seniors have meals and that they're checked in on. Um, a lot of times the person delivering that meal to the senior, that might be the only person they see all day, mm-hmm. uh, the only interaction they have. So to us, it's not just the food and nutrition, it's also just checking in on them uh, as a well visit uh, for mental health. See, again, it can be it can be young people, but it's also our seniors. And so sure. um, so that's another great partner. I mean, there's just so many. I could keep going on and on with all these examples. Uh, but I do encourage everybody to go to the website and just really read the full list. Another really cool thing we do is when someone applies to us, we make them um, 
to use them. Um, yeah. we, we work with them to get data to report back to us. So the goal for that is that we want our donors to know um, that we use something called results-based accountability. So as uh, people in philanthropy, mm -hmm. uh, we always kind of say we're your philanthropic advisor. So, you know, if you're mm -hmm. a donor, you, you know, you probably know of your, your financial advisor, you go to somebody for your stocks and bonds, and we, we, oh, yeah. we talked about that recently. And, sure. And so, um, so we consider ourselves on the, the, the nonprofit philanthropic side of that. Mm -hmm. We are aware of the agencies and who they are and what they do and the programs that they're implementing. So going back to results-based accountability, we then work with any program we fund to get data, which we call results and indicators. Um, we have um, pr uh, like performance measures for each program. And they usually report to us biannually, sometimes quarterly. So the really cool thing is if you go to our website and you're reading down that list of, of partners, and we have them broke down in, by county, so you can click on Crawford, and there's a whole list of our partners that will show up. Underneath most of them, not all of them have a dashboard, but most of them have a dashboard, um, which is our results-based accountability dashboard, and you can see what their goals are for that program. And it now has three years worth of data in it, which mm -hmm. is a great time to really start looking because you can see uh, the progress or how we're doing as a community for said program. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh -huh. um, it, it's really a lot more in depth than I think people realize. I think we do a lot more of that and I'm really proud of the work that we've done around results-based accountability. We're not just, um, you know, blindly giving out money. <laughs> you right. know, we we want to have some accountability there so that we're making a good sound investment for our donors and the companies who trust us with that those monies for the community. So I would just encourage everybody while you're on on that website, go and click on click below the partner name, and it, it just says RBA dashboard, and you know the, the it's a nice graph so you can see up or down arrows or just um, there's like a black arrow if it's just kind of stagnant. Um, there's also what we call a story behind the curve. So this this data and reporting is not meant to punish our partners by any means. We always remind them of that. It's continuous improvement. Um, it helps them to be able to set goals and know if they're going in the right direction. It also helps them and us to apply for other funds. For example, state and federal grants that might come up on the fly, boom, we have the reporting and the information there. We can help them write a larger scale grant and, and hopefully leverage dollars to Crawford and, and the other counties that we serve. So it, it's really, we could be here all day talking about all the different things we do because it's, it's there's so much more to United Way, I think, than people realize. So I just encourage everybody to check out the website, read more about collective impact, results-based accountability, um, and of course read about our campaign because we couldn't do all this and what we do without our amazing supporters and and the dollars, every year it amazes me how supportive the community is. Um, I should actually say we're at 85% nice. of our goal right good. now. Good, that's good. Yeah, and we have through June to finish it. So we're, we're kind of calling it right now the race to the goal. So mm -hmm. it's like if, if you're out there and listening or watching, right? Right, right. <laughs> and you haven't given yet or you have a company that wants to get involved in the community on a, on a larger scale, um, United Way is really the best the best way to do it. Um, we always say United Way uh, is the best way to help the most people. So if you want to have the biggest impact, um, we would love to help a company or individual to do that. And so, anyway, uh, we're trying to get to that last 15%. And if you're out listening and maybe you've been a friend of United Way in the past and your, your little donor card here, <laughs> right. you show everybody, right? Your donor card may have got, you know, sat on your desk and left to the side. You can dig that out or go on our website you can donate um you know online which is always great too and so um you know just think about giving that final gift to get us to to the major goal that we have and and once we reach that goal we're able to hopefully fully fund um these wonderful partners that we've talked about so well, just well, really appreciate it one more time with your email address, not email but your website yeah so the website is unitedwaynco.org and again, we're on most social media platforms, United Way, <coughs> excuse me, United Way of North mm -hmm. Central Ohio. Um, if you want more information, uh, give me a call, email me. You can email me at amber mm -hmm. at unitedwaynco.org. I'm happy to meet with anybody or 
or just have some conversation about programs in our community. So just, again, really appreciate everyone's support and thank year after year just giving back to our community so generously. So And thanks to the radio station, too, because you're great partners as well. Thank you so much, Amber. <laughs> thank you.